Good morning. Welcome to day one of my second 90 day challenge. Um, this isn't a challenge showdown video because I didn't make it into the top 10. I didn't win that, but I won me. I won something really, really important because some amazing things happened this weekend. And if you were there, you know, you know what happened. And for those of you who've been following my journey all along and don't know what happened, um, my last video of the challenge showdown of me climbing the stairs in Capitola was played on the big screen in front of, I think, 20,000 people. And I ended up on stage giving uh, one of our founders, Blake Malland, a couple hugs and getting to say hi to everybody. <laughs> Funny thing is, I didn't know I wasn't called on stage. One of the volunteers said, go up stage. And so I thought I was being called on stage. But everything, everything happened like it was supposed to happen. I learned something so much more valuable than advancing to the next level of this competition. I learned something that me and my diet buddy, who I Skype with Monday through Friday at 9 a.m., decided when we started holding these little Skype meetings so that we could keep each other accountable in our progress on our challenge, we decided we wanted to win us. So winning me, what that means for me is it's not about winning or losing out here. It's about winning or losing in here what happens inside of me on this journey and in these challenges. Um, I'm really glad I waited till today to start my second 90 day challenge. Uh, my diet buddy Murphy also suggested that. She said something's gonna happen in St. Louis and you're gonna know what you're gonna do with this next challenge. And she was right, something happened. And um, I realized someone like me who's never loved myself and never had uh, a lot of people in my life who loved me and that's not surprising because when we don't love ourselves you know how how can anybody love us uh, got so much love and so much support from so many people you guys freaking rocked my world this weekend you showed me something that I want to go out and I want to show the rest of the world that it doesn't matter if you weigh 400 pounds 300 pounds 19 pounds <laughs> that's funny um, it's about what's in here. People love us when we love ourselves. And more than anything, we love life when we love ourselves. Um, I've been given a vessel this weekend to live out my dreams. My dreams of getting healthy. My dreams of continuing to walk more. What a lot of people don't know who saw that video this weekend is that I've been in a wheelchair for a while. And I just recently got out of it. I got to sell my walker at the flea market to help me raise money to get to St. Louis. I got to donate my wheelchairs to the homeless shelter here in Santa Cruz this past weekend. Um, so many things have happened and I'm walking again. But something happened at the airport. I had to use the uh, the airport wheelchair on the way home. And uh, as we were standing in the security line, I started crying. I said, I don't want to freaking do this. I said, I don't want to get in this wheelchair again. And her and Murphy said, knock it off. Knock it off. you got to remember to take care of you. And and I said, you're right, I'm going to take care of me and I'm going to get in this wheelchair because I did so much uh, walking around this weekend. It was miles and miles and my legs and my ankles were so swollen. And, you know, they reminded me, like, what are you going to do if your knees go out? Like, you live in a trailer by yourself with your dog. You know what I mean? Like, you, you're not going to be able to do these challenges. Take care of you. So I got in that wheelchair and through, you know, the stops of Vegas, all of that, I let them push me around in a wheelchair. And when I was in that wheelchair, I was reminded of how I used to feel when I was in it every single day. And uh, I was reminded that I'm not going back to that. So here I am. I'm in my bathing suit, uh, getting ready for my morning Skype with my diet buddy on my day one of my second 90 day challenge. Still got my bracelet on. And I made a decision. I was like, I can't get this off without cutting it. I don't want to cut it. This weekend is a monumental turning point in my life. So I decided that I'm going to wear this bracelet till I've lost enough weight that it'll come off on its own. I'm going to LA for the next national event, March 22nd through 24th, and I plan to be at least 100 pounds lighter by then. My goal for this 90 day challenge is to hit 75 pounds, and I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm up and ready to get back on my schedule and go swimming because I'm having my gallbladder surgery on the 8th and I'll have to take a break from my exercise routine. 
that's okay doing the taking care of me thing uh, as we go along guys we're gonna talk about all this stuff but right now I want to send some shout outs first to everybody that I met you guys I love you I love you um, everybody whose cards I got Bill and Trish uh, Shannon TJ Jones Kevin Aro uh, Natalie, uh, <laughs> Ron and Tracy, Al Billings, Tara Ashman, Kim Gardner, Jessica Boom, Pamela, Sarah Maxwell, Matt Tracy, uh, <laughs> uh, Valerie Luther, James and Erica, Susie Brooks, uh, Sydney McCorvey, what's up, Bomi? Uh, Jim Stringer, Scott Willer, I got to meet Jeff, I got to meet Martin, um, so many people, if I didn't mention your name, I'm sorry. Uh, I love you guys. I can't wait to see you in L.A. This was the most amazing weekend of my life. You guys showed me something, putting the pieces of the puzzle together of what it means to work on loving yourself and believing in yourself to have more, to have better. And that's what winning life is all about. Um, I want to give one last shout out to a lady that I met in the lobby of the Hyatt. Uh, before we left. Uh, she was sitting there alone looking pretty down with tears in her eyes. Her name is Celine Castrovilla. And um, she's an author of a book called Saved by the Music. She's from New Jersey and she was in St. Louis trying to figure out what she's going to do to put a roof over her six-year-old son's head because they've been displaced by uh, Sandy. And um, she doesn't have any money or anything to do. She's got this book, and I'm going to ask everybody who reads this to go out and buy that book to help her. You know, I talked to her about helping her get started on Vaisalus to change her life, and I'm going to call her, and we're going to talk more about that. But right now, she's in a really just place of despair and doesn't see any hope, and I really want to show her how we get down how Vaisalis gets down because the love and support I've gotten has changed my life and I want to show this woman like there's people in the world that care you're not alone you're not alone Celine you and your son are going to be okay I want everybody to lift Celine and her son up in their prayers and everybody who's been affected by Sandy and let them know how we Vaisalians get down we give we give we give we give just like just like our CEO was talking about up there Ryan Blair what he wants to do when he leaves this earth, everything he wants to do while he's here, our founders and our, our direction of caring and sharing and making this about so much more than gain. It's about giving. Um, I want to show that to Celine today with our prayers and go out and buy her book, Save by the Music. Go online, order it, whatever you got to do, or find that book and help get this woman and, and her six year old son back in a home. Um, I love you guys. I'm going to be putting up these videos every Monday morning between 9 and 10 a.m. They'll be on my blog. Link it on my Facebook. If you haven't already, my Facebook badge is on my blog. Friend me. Let's stay connected. Let's support each other. You know you can always call me, 408-508-ICAN, 408-508-4226, and let's support each other because that's what this is about. People caring about people, reaching out and sharing the love and winning us. That's, that's the key, winning us. I love y'all, and I'll see you next week. Have a blessed week. Go TTO. <laughs> Big shout out to the most amazing mentor. I, I can't believe I almost love without saying this. Cedric Harris, you moved me. You moved me with your words. You drive me with your soul. You speak from your heart. I'm so blessed. Your whole team, Team Takeover, we are so blessed to have you in, in that position of leadership for us. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you for helping me get to where I'm at. And um, together, we're all going to get to where we're going. And it's somewhere really great. I love you. All right, y'all. Bye.